Where are we going next? Now that we know Leon is a, uh, just a little crazy. Oh, hey. We've sort of linked up. Oh, that, yeah, Rene. We haven't actually been able to go back there. Looks like we're taking a shortcut. Kind of want to go to Grotto Keep, too. I think I needed lightning or shine. Yeah, I think for Lore Shell, shine is usually okay with her higher speed. Not to mention it'll help her grow her rank better. It'd still be nice to have at least one lightning, though. That's right, we had, uh... I almost forgot Joshua received, uh, Althuma and Excalibur here. At plus five speed would be really nice for someone like, uh... Well, or Luke. Since she's the only one who can actually use it. I have no idea who I'll end up giving this to, though. Now, since he's level 10 already, I want to see what his actual classes are. First up, a druid. Wielder of deep and ancient magic. Equips dark anima and staves. And a summoner. Master sorcerers who summon fighters. Skill summon. And also gets dark and stabs. That sounds like a really cool ability. Interesting. Uh, looks like he almost looks like he has a face in his outfit. Necessarily planning on using him this time. Well, it would be nice, maybe, to. I, 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 like I said, I was thinking of using him more in the uh, Ephraim route, where, where we'll presumably get him earlier. But I could still use him during, like, the tower. Tower climbing. If nothing else to try out the summoner and see what it's like. I don't think I'll go for the druid. I don't really need more anima. And that sounds fun. What kind of stack buffs do you get, Noel? have to be extra careful with him. He cannot take a hit. Yeah, 24 HP. I mean, he could take a magic hit, but he would get utterly destroyed by basically anything else. to try and, uh... Actually, he's pretty close. Not that he'd be able to hit anything with it. With its 30 hit. Yeah, we have one heal and two mans at the moment. That's probably enough for now. 
Of course, we're silencing our our warp. Probably end up using hammering on, but we'll see. We might use it on one of the uh, legendary weapons too. It all depends on my needs. Right. We also wanted to see what Metis's uh, tone does. I'm gonna say it first again. I guess we'll try it out on. Uh, whoops, that's not where I wanted to go. Uh, on Irica. I have a feeling it'll be a stat booster or something. Let's try it on... You don't... I mean, her speed is, uh... Maxed out, but if it, like, grew all the stats or something... It would still be obvious, even if she doesn't get a speed. Or maybe it uh, increases your weapon rank. Give this to a unit you like. Maturity increased. I'm actually not sure at all what that did. Maybe I'll try giving to someone who is at max level. Alright. We'll try it on Tethys. Still no idea what that did. Just look it up. Alright, the uh, tome is unused for the moment. Um, the other thing I was planning on doing, since we basically have our party decided and promoted, it is time to finish deciding on these items here. Thinking the body ring. We already used one. It'd certainly be nice to get her to an uh, another one so she can use Elfire. Also, um. Excalibur. Which is pretty heavy. And the speed of the tome. Just barely compensates for her, uh, for her con. As for the movement, the boots, uh, Irica might make sense as a five movement, though if or when she promotes, she might get extra movement. She probably will. Tethys, on the other hand, probably won't. Which makes it harder for, he to, for her to keep up. Yeah. I think uh, either Tethys make the most sense. If I wasn't going to do one of them, I'd actually probably end up doing uh, Franz to uh, compensate for his loss of movement when he became a great knight. But, um... I don't think that's a terribly big issue. Yep. You ready, Tethys? Swift Soul? There you go. The other person who might make sense to give the uh, the body ring to is maybe someone like Lower Shell. Well, I mean, a lot of people could make uh, good use of it. It's a prime candidate. 
Ohana is a decent candidate as well. It'll really help her with these uh, heavier items. Granted, with how high her speed is, she once again, that's the reason I didn't go for her initially. She has the speed where it doesn't really matter. Rochelle isn't quite as speed heavy, but still more so than someone like Lou. Yeah, it really is only a contest between Lou, Arthur, and Rochelle, really. If I give it to Loot, it'll effectively be a plus two speed. She'll get an extra, she'll basically get 15 speed when, uh, when she uses this uh, special tome, Excalibur. She might finally be able to start doubling things on top of being able to use L fire. Which would be wonderful. Yeah, we're gonna give loot a little bit more love. Love and care here. Make her the... Well. She might be a prodigy in magic, but she's not a prodigy in bodily strength and constitution. So she needs the help to overcome that natural weakness. Very good. Um, was there anything else? We had the talisman and the dragon shield. Um, do we have anyone who's strong? A good tank, but is lacking in resistance. You're not lacking. You actually aren't either. I'm not sure if that's because I gave you one already. Yeah, you're lacking the most out of all of them so far. And then Franz, whose defense is actually quite a bit lower than uh, Cormax, despite being a great knight compared to his uh, Wyvern Lord. I mean, as my designated tank, I guess, as long as there aren't archers present. Actually, no, that's what my uh, Wily Shield is for. Um, as my designated tank, as long as Wind Magic isn't around, or Dragon Slayers, um, probably makes sense to give him this Talisman. Draco Shield. Could help out Franz a little bit. I'll hold off on the Dragon Shield a little bit longer. I want to see how much benefit Cormeg would get out of it versus I don't know, someone like Franz. One lightning, please. Thank you, Silver Card, for making it so cheap. And I mean, the men's are pretty cheap these days, too. Should I just go for that instead of healing? have a heal here anyways. We're not really short on them at the moment, though. Alright. Let's go to uh, Grotto Keep. 
Who knows, maybe there's some good items here. Nope. Zabu Marsh? No. This is all the stuff, uh, all the places that, uh, I presume uh, Ephraim had gone to. Here's one. Eh, nothing special. I guess it will grab a heal, but... There we go, some lances and swords. Um, I think I needed an iron bow, too. Just in case. Um, I think we're good on axes. Let's double check that though. Yeah, we have iron. We don't have any steel though. Okay, he's got a steel axe. That's another thing I could use, I could use some hand axes. If I could find them. Here we go, some javelins. And, oh hey, hammer, hand axe. They're super cheap. Oh hey, a short bow. Not that I'd need one. They're actually even weaker than the iron bow. I think that's worth a 10 crit. Alright, time to head back home and, well, presumably we're going to accidentally uh, get our sacred stones broken. But we'll see. The capital of Renace. After the twins' absence, Seeing their home ruined by war brings them terrible grief. Yeah. Well, the grotto part of the war at least is over. Though we'll be facing, I think, a lot more dark forces from now on. Orson. Oh, hey! He's back. The traitor. Orson, a former knight of Renee had been assigned to guard Castle Rene. However, he switched allegiances, betraying his oaths of loyalty to his homeland. Irica marks her homecoming by vowing to see Rene healed. Here's hoping, Irica. I wonder if he was uh, ruled by madness. I assume that's, uh, Leon. I wonder if Orson was, um... Following Leon from the beginning, or if it was, uh... Following Grotto. And then Leon by extension. Brother! What has happened to our home? What has happened to Castle Renes? How did it come to be so ruined? So desolate? I mean, we were forced to leave it, and, uh, leave it at the hands of Grotto. Spies report that the castle is being held by the traitor Orson. Orson. In retrospect, I realize he's been acting odd for a while now. He seemed so dispirited. His wife passed away six months, some six months back. Oh, well, maybe he's the one who's ruled by madness, then. The loss may have been too much for his mind to bear. I think it literally drove him insane. His love and devotion for his wife were well known among the knights. That's kind of tragic. Now, he sits alone in the king's former bedchambers. He makes no effort to govern. No one is allowed to enter the chambers. But he takes no meals. He's not going to live long like that. What could he possibly be doing? I do not know. The spies had no insight into his behavior. 
He does nothing to deal with the dark creatures and bandits roaming the land. Reports say Oliver Nace is engulfed in chaos. Region after region is revolting, and Orson's reign is already crumbling. Well, we better, uh, work to bring order back to the land. Left alone, it may very well collapse under the weight of its own neglect. We cannot allow the situation to reach that point. We're going home, Irika. We're going home to the castle. Yes, we are. We'll depose the traitor, the usurper, and restore balance to the lands, cast out the dark creatures and bandits, help our people. I hear you, Ephraim. Oh, hey, there there you are. I was surprised I uh, couldn't, uh, didn't see you with him last time. Um, Ephraim? What is it, Mir? I, I will fight with you. Now that Selena has returned my Dragonstone to me, Selena had it. Oh. I'll do what I can until its power runs out. Aw. Do I need to make, uh, room for you in my party somehow, Mir? We'll see. Like I said, I planned on, I already planned on using you during Ephraim's route at the very least. Let's take back your home. Sweet. You'd use your limited power for, uh, for our sake. Are you sure about this? With the two of you, I simply want to help. All right, I understand. But you must make me a promise. You are never to stray from our sides. Got that? Hm. Now, she is a divine dragon, right? I'm sure she'll be fine. Of course! Who's that? What is it, Monica? You seem so happy today. Of course I know what to... Uh, Monica, his, his, uh, wife. Of course I know what today is. I'd never forget your birthday. I have a present for you, dear. I think you'll like it. Who's the poor lady who is... being, uh, forced to play that role. I presume that's who the green person was. You know something? That Orson, he gives me the creeps. What do you think he's doing back there? I've heard lots of bizarre rumors from the master of the mess hall. Do you think he needs help? Could he be dangerous? He does need help, but I'm not sure you could give it to him. I don't care. I'm here for the money. As long as I get paid, I'm happy. But on the subject of rumors, have you heard the stories of the secret treasure? Um... What secret treasure? You don't mean the sacred stones, do you? There's supposed to be some fabulous wealth hidden in Castle Renee's. I tell you, if I find it, I'm gone. Shoot. Time limit for the chests. <laughs> Who's that? Oh yeah, this asshole. So he is still alive. It does my heart good to see you looking so happy, Orson. See what joy your treachery has brought you. I told you treason would be sweet. Get out. This is Monica in my place not have our home disturbed by anyone. I did as you asked. I betrayed Renee. My promise has been kept. <laughs> How long are you going to continue this nonsense? Irika and Ephraim have joined forces. Even now, the united forces march toward the capital. Toward you. Irika? I can't imagine they'll forgive you for your treachery, can you? I expect the sin of your betrayal has shattered your entire family's name. And after all you did to free your wife from the cold clutches of the grave. You didn't, like, literally raise her corpse, did you? Animate it. That's... 
dark. It's a shame that she'll be sent back there dangling from the hangman's noose. I mean, why would she be? I mean, unless once again she's a zombie. No, that can't happen. <laughs> oh, but it can, and it will. Unless you do something to stop it. You understand what is required, don't you? You have your orders, Orson. <laughs> I wonder if uh, he made contact with Leon as a small boy. The other alternative. I still can't discount the possibility that he was uh, disguising himself as Leon. Monica, I'm sorry. I have something I must do. Please wait for me here. Oh, darling, don't look so sad. I'll be back soon, and then I'll never leave. This definitely gives me, uh, Psycho vibes, as in the movie Psycho. I don't want to state why in case uh, you've never seen it. I must do this to protect our happiness. You understand that, don't you? All right, then. I'll be back. Oh, no, there he is. <laughs> he believes that thing is his wife. Aren't people amusing? <sighs> Why? This is terrible. It's sweat. Seriously, he doesn't seem like a bad guy. He almost feel like... Almost feels like he's, um doing something he thinks is necessary. Huh. Is he okay? Does he have a split personality? No. An illness. Oh my. Your nasty illness rearing its ugly little head again. There's no need to worry. Will pass shortly. Leave everything to your humble servant, Reeve. <laughs> hmm. We have 12 of us. Now, I am going to not use Irka and Ephraim on this route. I'll only use one Lord per route, I think. I'll use Ephraim on his route. Though I still might pursue their supports in the tower or something. Because, yeah, her choices were fairly limited. It was basically Tana. The lower shell's already taken. So Tana and Ephraim. She can do both Irika and Ephraim. Perhaps the next time in Ephraim's route, I'll have Lorshell support both of them instead of uh, Renek and Dozla. Have you not done Renek yet? I could have sworn I had gotten him. She'll get uh, Irika and Cormag. Luke and Amy. Fortunately, she doesn't have anyone besides Artor. I suppose I could try and get Colm in the tower as well. She doesn't have anyone else she can get either besides Artor. Except maybe Noel if I end up using him for some reason. Because I was mostly planning on just uh, trying him out in the tower. You haven't got your attempt to support yet. Oh, hey, 
Natasha would be very interesting to see. I'm curious about her relationship with him. I mean, they probably knew each other. As, he, as she has a uh, sister, perhaps. They both have the blonde hair. His duessel would also be pretty interesting, I bet. can uh, support me here. Poor Franz doesn't have any support with the people I have. Oh yeah, Mir, incidentally. A young, pure-hearted girl from Darkling Woods. She tends to be shy. So she can only do Sala, Dozla, and Ephraim. Interesting. Now. Oh, wow. Alright, because she has her, uh, her Dragonstone. I don't think... Yeah, nice number of uses at the very least. Um, I don't think they actually... The Manikids have different types in this game. It's just a straight-up Dragonstone. <laughs> her little... She's flying. She's flapping with her wings. I like it. Now, her HP, though, is very, very low. But her defense and resistance are very, very high. Her speed is low. She's only level one. if the uh, Dragonstone makes her good. If, like, I wonder if she's super effective against um, dark creatures. Because if so, it might be uh, worth it to make room for her. What's the strength of that Dragonstone? It doesn't really say, but her attack is 31. So, extrapolating from our strength, which is 15, 16 strength. Well, I might use her, I'll definitely use her in Ephraim's route, especially since she supports with him. Um, I might, in this route, I might use her in the tower. After this chapter, I'll probably do a run in the tower, in fact, and uh, verify whether it's super effective against those creatures or not. It would also be a good opportunity to level her in case uh, I do decide to use her. Okay. Where's this treasure? There's three chests, so we definitely want Rennick. Another chest. Those look like druids. Yep. Finally starting to run into a lot higher proportion of promotes. I actually kind of like the balance this game uses, but... Of, uh... Promoted enemies to non-promoted enemies. And some of them by this point in the game would be all promotes, basically. There he is. Old Orson. Is he a higher level now? Or was he that high of a level when we used him? Let's see if there's anything to steal. There's a red gem. Oh, a purge. Definitely want to get our hands on that. Not let him, uh... I'll have to use a warp, probably, to actually get our hands on that purge. That's... gonna be pretty dangerous, though. Another 
hero crest. Not that we need that one. Definitely would love to get that physic. We have a few special weapons, at least one horse slayer. One killer lance. Okay. I think if anyone can survive in here, it is certainly going to be Cormeg. He I could warp him in, perhaps, and uh, have him take this one out, and then uh, some of them will probably kill themselves on him, and he could uh, beat a haste retreat, or just stick around and uh, would need to make sure he has healing items. I could also use the opportunity to uh, take that physic before it gets used up. I finally get a physic. I feel bad. I kind of want to use Franz, but also the fact that he doesn't have any supports with the char other characters I'm using makes him the, uh, I think, best character to drop. And I should definitely probably keep Tethys. I mean, his original, I guess... Actually, I was originally having it the other way around, where Dozla was the one who would have come in when uh, Rennick wasn't needed, but... Uh, since he's supporting with the lower shell, I think it makes more sense to take him. Alright. I think I have everything settled. Equipment chosen. It's time to, uh... Time to begin. Like I said, I need to, um... Get you. I suppose I can wait until... I can wait to do the, uh the warp until I'm, you know, forced to get into range here. I might also want to use it on to get Rennick in range here. We'll see. There is a door key. What is that used for? Oh, this one here. And here and here. That door seems a little inefficient, though. Some triumphant music. I'm not sure which one of them. Well, we'll see which one of them wants to move. They might appear out of this uh, staircase or something. Well, let's actually see if there's any of them that have a different uh, allegiance or title. Yeah, no. Okay. guys are out of range. Good. You guys just have iron swords. Fantastic. We can almost kill you. We could, uh, basically definitely kill you. No one else is quite in range. Except for, uh, Nami here. She can block for loot. Oh no, never mind, she can't. But it'll make it so that loot will kill him, regardless. Like the higher chance of hitting. Magic, more luck. I'd like to see more speed, but also S rank. That's good. Really doesn't matter which one I kill. And they're actually not going to attack loot anyways. They're going to attack Nami almost certainly. Now, should I... No, like I said, I think I will wait. <clears throat> then 
again. I don't know if it would trigger something or not. Be good to know that ahead of time. Oh, well, we're still early in the in the chapter. In which case, barrier for Cormeg. It's a part of the plan, so that he can actually survive the uh, mages better. Lower shell. Oh, damn. You see, yeah, that's a... That's a problem there. It's not a huge deal that I used up a use of the barrier, but... I wasn't sure. They didn't say it has a range, but, um... It apparently does. I'm not sure what the range is based on, but... It'll still help us. We can, uh use it to get him to, like, hear or something, which put him, as long as I can get him over to the other side of this wall, basically, he can, uh, take that one out. Here, why don't, uh, why don't you go forward, Lower Shell? I'll give you that kill. So that they don't attack, uh, Nimi or loot. Masters are just fun. I don't know why. It's the best way to describe them. Oh, damn it. They don't consider that. She might have been able to actually move up to there. Eh, maybe not, though. Okay, so we still have room to maneuver. Zero percent to hit. It's just fantastic. And he had a poison axe, too. Renick's not in range, either. We could use, um, Tana to get Marissa moving. Of course, we also have Garrick here. Yeah, we 
go. In case those uh, mages decide to attack him. Who to dance for? I suppose uh, get Arthur further up. They want him in range to refresh that barrier. The first moment that we become able to get. Uh, Yeah, why not? Uh, be able to get uh, Cormag into range. The Purge. Three damage. If you even hit. Actually, they probably would have done less damage to Cormag with his barrier. Easily. Um, as for who? Tana, you're a bit behind level wise. Let's give it to you. At least one of them. Swords, or I mean, S rank and swords. No, though I should probably keep building you up in axes, since you'll probably end up our primary axe user. Well, actually, those that might. Still, I should build you up in axes when I can. In fact, actually, you know what? That shall share. Take that double axe and give it away. Um, in exchange for the iron blade, maybe. This would be a safe place to use it. Wonderful. I wonder how the mechanics of this specific double axe is. Usually. I think most of the ones have been luck-based. I think some of them might have been a flat percent chance of hurting yourself. And then the type of damage, whether it just you attack yourself or whether it does a flat amount of rebound. Okay. Artur. Lower shell. And Renick, since you're behind. Exactly was the range of your warp. Um that was based on their position. Good to know. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 
What's your movement? Cormag? Eight. No, that would not work. Unless there's a chance he wouldn't move. But that's what I have this here for. We can move him forward and then uh, follow suit with Lower Shell and then uh, dance for, for Cormeg. And Gucci can reach that uh, position. All of them can actually. Um, Alright, first things first. Barrier. Refreshed. Lower shell. You're gonna have to go second. Um, dance for him. I'm just now thinking about the uh, how much damage will those uh, knights be able to do. Tethys. Oh, 20 is her max level. Huh. That's a bit surprising, but, uh, since she doesn't promote, or does she? Should give her the master seal just in case. I doubt it, but well, you never know. experience the warp staff is. Alright. And Yeah. 73 damage. Oh no 70 73%. Zero, good. Um, oh, yikes. They can hit harder than I expected. Well, I'll we'll see if he can survive this. If not, I might need to consider alternate plans. In reality, it is just these three plus these two, though, so let's actually calculate it out now. 14. Plus, we'll assume this 13 hits. It's a 9. Pretty set, uh, 36. Forty-six. And we can't verify you directly, but oh, he has an axe. Uh, presumably that'll hit just a bit harder. At least as hard as this one. Point is, he can—he'll need at least two of them to miss. hoping. This one misses. Come on. Shit. That's one that hit. At least we got the divine. Or not the divine, the uh, purge. I was really kind of hoping for more defense there. That would actually, or resistance that would help. Though, ah, oh, damn, we already used her, though. I was going to say we could uh, then use that purge to maybe take one of them out, but no. What are you guys holding? Steel Lance, Steel Lance. I keep using the Devil Axe for the moment. I don't know if I'll 
come to regret that or not, but... Moment of truth for you, Cormac. Alright, you can't make it. So if they all go first and uh, he doesn't kill them... I spoke too soon. Um, and they were to block off a little bit, that would actually help. Though, actually, if they were to... Mm, I don't know. But that one could actually hurt him. Luckily, he did not. Okay, that triggers them. Miss, miss, miss. Shit. Well, the fact that we haven't got a single miss yet is a not a good sign. Here it comes. Oh, are we going to get lucky after all? We might. Shit. Oh, good. I didn't realize he also had a... I just assumed they had the same weapons. I really shouldn't have. That did trigger basically all the enemies, though. 47. Shit. Blessed. My brother would never have gone out like this. It is a blaze of glory. Hmm. I suppose it turns out that he could maybe use the Draco Shield. I'm not entirely sure that would have made the difference since actually they went for the Bolting instead of the Divine. But, um... Oh, hey. Oh, and there's the, uh, the thief. A hunter. For reset. Oh, hey, an elixir. fire um but so it's got two more strength it's not a terrible difference especially when i consider the uh fact that um if i give him the draco shield uh, there'll be six less damage there. There's also the possibility that, I don't know, maybe they wouldn't have moved. I guess I could verify that. Whether these ones will move in order to uh, attack us in this hallway. If not, that makes my job easier. All right, moment of truth. I just quickly warped those two in there to uh, one clear the way and then put him in range of the virgin bolting. Let's see what happens, if they move or not. And no, it looks like they don't. It's 10 range, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, nine, ten. Um, well, just to see, he, they should attack if I put him right here, though, right? Oh, wow. So even putting him, I'm pretty sure, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and range, they 
don't they don't choose to attack. Interesting. I'm trying to test the boundaries here. Also to note, I'm pretty sure we're a turn or two after where we were when those reinforcements came. I think they might be triggered by entering the throne room. Well, I might have to reconsider then how I approach this. I don't think I'll need to actually use my um, a warp in order to take this one out. But I probably actually will end up doing so. Um, maybe. Not to take this one out necessarily, but to uh, probably take this one out. You know, I need people that can uh, survive. Interesting, this one doesn't even move. Um, I'm just trying to test these boundaries here. Still nothing. That is shocking. So I can basically clear out all of this, probably, and not worry about anything. And it's probably once I uh, cross this line here. Which means... easily send people in to help thin out this herd here. I can warp someone over too in order to take out the mage. Someone like Tana. Someone with high resistance. Hopefully someone that can actually survive these guys, of course. There we go. It is that line that triggers them. It triggers everybody. Good to know. With that knowledge, we can actually properly plan. And that is what triggers them. And the thief, for that matter. Now, I'm unclear whether going for these guys will also trigger it, but, um... I kind of doubt it. We'll, uh, test out whether crossing into this room does or does not trigger everybody. Really quickly. Probably not. Yeah, <laughs> doesn't even trigger these ones in this room. Good. That's fantastic. Um, means we can actually safely deal with this. Clear these guys out. Move through this hallway, everything. And properly deal with the throne room while getting the purge. <laughs> 